Hey guys, Finn here from Complete Body Coach, and today we're just going to go through some uh, more hip mobility, working through internal external rotation through your hip joints. So for this here one, starting off, sitting down, two so feet nice and wide apart, hands behind, and just from here, just going to just get used to it, working through a little bit of that pelvic tilt. So tilting the pelvis up, sloping into it, tilt that pelvis forward, up nice and tall. Just work through it, tilt the pelvis back and then rock it forward and just go through a few of these movements just to initiate that movement and get used to holding yourself into that anterior pelvic tilt and holding your spine up nice and tall. Once you've done a few of them, popping the hands behind, keeping the chest up tall and then you're just slowly going to bring your right knee in, coming back down and then your left knee in. The whole time you want to keep that weight forward through your shoulders, through your chest. As you're bringing that leg down, you're keeping that pelvis tilted and you'll feel that rolling through, right into the inside of your hip. Working through, nice and slow, rocking from internal to external rotation. I don't want to see you coming forward and everything leaning back, or like you're opening through here, like this will feel easier. You want to be making sure you're stacking everything up to get that hip joint really working through that full range. Just working through them, side to side. A few things with this, if you find that you're walking forward with it, that means you're moving too much through your hips. So you keep pulling the shoulders forward, keep driving them hips back as you're walking through that side. Just so show you straight on, coming down, coming down. And again with these, go for about eight to 10 of them, both sides. And have a little play. Good, if you have any questions, just let me know.